What's happening, everybody? John the Realtor here. Um, listen, uh, this is going to be part two of my video from um, a couple of weeks ago that I made. Uh, and this one is going to be based on real estate etiquette um, and, you know, not necessarily uh, real estate ethics. Uh, we're not talking about real estate law here. What we're talking about is um, um, etiquette between agent to agent, agent and, and agent to client. Um, you know, and it goes without saying, listen, if you, here, here's rule number one, okay? If you have a listing and you are a listing agent, do yourself a favor and do your client a favor. When you get a showing request, answer the text or respond to the call. Even if you're in a meeting, you can quickly say, in a meeting, call you back or in a meeting, text you back. It's not that hard to do. Um, you know, you don't want to have your client or an agent waiting two days to find out if they can show your property that day now because you've waited two days to respond. And on top of that, you don't want to be rude to an agent who is trying to bring you a buyer um, because obviously that's not going to help your situation. Now, granted, with fair housing laws and all of this stuff, you're not going to sit there and you know, and discriminate against an agent or a house because if your buyer ultimately wants that house, you're going to sell them that house. However, you don't want to become one of those agents that's just difficult to work with. Okay. Um, that's point number one. Point number two, you know, I'm always an easygoing agent when it comes to my listings. Um, and uh, what I mean by that is if I'm working with a buyer's agent or what we call a selling agent uh, in the business, my job is to, of course, protect my seller and the selling agent's job is to protect their buyer's best interest. But, you know, when it comes down to it, at the end of the day, um, you're selling the property for the clients, not for yourself. Um, and if you just, you know, if you use a little bit of grace and a little bit of tact with your clients and the agents that are bringing you these buyers, you're gonna get through the transaction a little bit easier. Well, what do I mean by that? Well, if you have an agent who is just simply asking about specific things on the property or maybe they want some things repaired, you know, depending on the situation, you know, don't just be rude about it and go, oh no, my seller's not gonna do any of that. You know, just, I mean, just let them know say, you know what, we'll go ahead and check on that for you. I know your buyer's concerned about that, but I need to talk to my seller. Present it to the seller. You know, there's a lot of agents out there that, and I'm in no way calling names out on this, but there's a lot of agents out there that will say they talk to their seller or will say they presented your offer or will say something, but did they really do it? Eh, I don't know about that. Okay. So ultimately you want to make sure that you actually do what you're supposed to do disclose things, submit your offers, all of that. Because I've ha I've run into situations where I find out that the agent didn't even submit my offer. Well, if you want to talk about the real estate law side of things, that's a, a, it's extremely unethical to do that or to not do that, you know? So, um, you know, that's point number two, just be easygoing, just be, you know, um, just get the job done for both clients. You're doing your client a disservice if you're a jerk about it during the listing side. Just be, be cool about it, have a good time, sell real estate and move on to the next one, you know? Help your clients out, not yourself. At the end of the day, you're still gonna get paid, all right? So that's point number two. Point number three that I wanna get uh, off to is, guys, if you're, if, you're, if you're in a transaction with somebody, do yourself the favor and communicate communicate with the person that you're working with you know it's it it's sad to say but you know you ask someone for um i don't know you tell someone that you submitted a request for repair for your buyer and you don't hear back for two weeks really i mean come on you're supposed to close the deal and you're not going to hear back you know when i get an email i respond as soon as i can if it's not if i'm if i'm available in front of my phone or in front of my computer and i get an email i'm going to respond right now what's the difference what do I have to lose by responding right now? 
if I'm on my phone with somebody or I'm at an, uh, or I'm at an appointment, you know, then when I get back to my office or when I'm sitting in my car getting ready to leave or whatever the case may be, I'm going to respond to the agent that same day. I'm not going to wait until the next morning if it's 2 p.m. on that day in order to respond. I mean, come on, guys. Communication is key. Communicate with people. Do what you got to do. And you know what? At the end of the day, everyone's going to be happy and the deal's going to be at close. So communication is key. This shouldn't be, this should not be a uh, surprise to anybody. Uh, so definitely communicate with people and let them know that you're working on it. Um, you know, I recently had a transaction where in my area, we, we have a lot of septic systems for your sewage. And so, uh, we were supposed to close a specific transaction and the day that, so basically the, the, our buyers, I'm representing the seller, our buyers, they're selling their home as well. Well, their, well, their home, their septic failed, meaning that something was wrong with the septic tank. Doesn't matter. Well, they went to the city to go submit the repairs and guess what? They have to hook up to sewer. Well, now we're delayed. So you know what? Instead of getting upset at the selling agent, which is the buyer's agent, you know, we worked together to where even I was helping her call septic companies to try and get some bids to get this property converted to sewer. So, you know, the point there, guys, is is help each other out, you know? So we got it done and we extended the transaction by 10 days and we're even closing earlier than that because of the fact that we helped each other out and we're helping all the clients involved because remember, if you're doing a relocation, it's not just your client and their client. It's your seller, the buyer that's buying the home, the buyer that's buying their home, and potentially the buyer that's buying their home and so on and so forth. So, you know, you have to remember, it's not just you, it's not your paycheck that's the only thing involved. Your clients are also involved and their livelihood are, are also involved too. So you wanna make sure that you, you take care of your clients. That's the first and foremost. Um, you know, point number three guy, or excuse me, point number four, I think we're at now. Um, there's so many more that I can get into guys, but this is going to be a shorter video. You know, point number four guys, just don't get greedy over the money and don't allow the money or the paychecks to affect how you run your business, run your business with class, with grace, with communication, and just work together between agent and agent. Don't be rude to people. Um, don't tell people off just because you think you know more um, or you think you're better than the other person. Because let me tell you straight out, because this is raw real estate, no agent out there is better than the next. And you always will always be able to learn something about real estate. You will never know everything about real estate and you will always be able to learn from people. So take that and use that to to learn something from fellow agents out there that are conducting business with you. Okay. Um, that's all I had to say for today, guys. Just, you know, have some tact, have some class. I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Hey, remember to subscribe. Uh, remember to like the video. Um, we will have, uh, more upcoming videos. I will doing so I will be doing some training stuff. Um, uh, be, for privacy issues on the training videos, I cannot uh, enter a real listing into the MLS. Um, however, I will be doing test listings um, entered into the California Regional MLS, which is the CRMLS. Whether you're with Inland Valley, uh, East Valley, Citrus Valley, the MLS portion will be uh, pretty much the same. Just your homepage will look different depending on who you subscribe with. But I am going to do a uh, an MLS training for my office. So I'm going to extend that to the public as well. Again, it will not be um, public information uh, because of privacy issues, but it will be a test transaction um, uh, uh, or excuse me, a test listing being entered into the MLS. So anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great weekend. Love you all and have a great day.